Many problems in the SAT math section are going to ask us to deal with equations of lines. So we're going to look at that today. And as usual, we will start with an example. The Hanoi Buffaloes, the renowned basketball team from Hanoi, is selling tickets to their basketball games. They started selling tickets in 2010 and every year after raised the ticket prices. If tickets cost $61 in 2011 and $71 in 2016, how much should tickets cost today in 2019? To do this, we're going to need to make a linear equation modeling our situation. So any linear equation follows the same form. y equals mx plus b, something you've surely seen a hundred times before. Now the m here, even though it doesn't start with s, stands for slope, and the b stands for y-intercept. Now the y-intercept is where the line crosses the y-axis, and the slope defines the rate of change of the line, a very important concept. So we see here an example of a linear equation. And to see the y-intercept in this example, we see that it is at negative 1, and we see how that is reflected also in the equation. Now to look at the slope, the more important concept, we see how this defines the rise over run, the rate of change of the equation. In this case, it's 2. So we see visually that when x moves to the right 1, y increases or moves up by 2. OK, so we know what makes up the equation for a line. Now, how might we be asked to find an equation of a line given some information? So given two pieces of information about a line, we can find the equation for that line. Most often, those two pieces of information are given as two coordinate points on the line. So we see that here, just these two coordinate points on our coordinate plane. And if we connect these lines and put it together, then we can form a line. And we see also the equation of that line. Though it is not clearly given in our problem statement, we are actually given two coordinate points that define our line. The first is when we're told that tickets cost $61 in 2011. The second is when we're told that they cost $71 in 2016. So before we can interpret these as coordinate points, we need to clearly define both our x and our y in this context. We started selling tickets in the year 2010, so why don't we define x as the number of years after 2010, and then y as the ticket price in a given year. Great, now that we've defined our x and y, we can find our coordinate points. So moving here, we see our first coordinate point, which corresponds to one year after 2010, 2011, and ticket price is $61, so we get 161. Now looking at the graph, we see this little break from 0 to 60. That's just so we can plot these large numbers on a clear graph here. Now our second coordinate point is going to be the year 2016, so six years after 2010, ticket price is $71. So six seventy one, And so we see our two coordinate points here plotted on our graph. So now that we have our two coordinate points, what can we actually do with them? Well, we can use them to first find our slope by plugging into the slope equation that we see here. We can use this equation whenever we're given two coordinate points, x1, y1, and x2, y2, as we saw before. So now let's take our two coordinate points and plug them into our equation here. So plugging them in, we see 71 minus 61, those are our two y values, and then 6 minus 1 are two x values. And if we simply evaluate, we get that our slope is 2. Hooray! So now we have m, our slope. This slope equal to 2 means that every year that we move forward in time, our tickets go up by $2. So our equation so far we see here is y equals 2x plus b. We found m is equal to 2, but we don't know yet b. So how can we find b? Well, we take one of our coordinate points, plug it into the equation as we have it so far, and we can simply solve for b. So let's pick our first coordinate point. Now we start with our equation here, y equals 2x plus b, and then we plug in x equals 1, y equals 61. So we get this equation here, which we can easily solve for b, and we find b equals 59. So putting it all together, we get our final equation here is so y equals 2x plus 59. So lastly, what does this b value mean in context? Well, this tells us that when x equals 0, y is 59. So in the year 2010, our tickets cost exactly $59. Great, we have our final equation. So starting with just y equals mx plus b, the form of a line, and then a couple of coordinate points that we're able to interpret from the problem, we were able to find a model that describes the entire situation given in our problem. Okay, we're not quite done yet. Looking back to our equation, we are asked, how much do tickets cost in the year 2019? So let's take the model that we built with our linear equation, 
and let's find the ticket price in 2019. So 2019, let's convert that to x. That corresponds to nine years after 2010, so x equal to nine. So let's take our equation, plug in x equals nine, and find y, the ticket price. Well, we see here it's as simple as two times nine plus 59. We evaluate that and we get y equals 77. So our tickets in the year 2019 will cost $77 and we're done. Fantastic, we can now buy tickets for the game to celebrate acing the SAT. Now that we know how to dissect equations of lines using the form y equals mx plus b. Let's get ready for the game. Hope you liked the video. If you wanna hear more and see what else we're up to, hit like and subscribe and see a new video coming out from Point Avenue every week. If you want to talk to us, hear more about what we're doing, or have any questions, email us at contact at pointavenue.com. Bye!